In the chaos that continues to unfold in Gaza, discussions about the plight of the Palestinian people have become increasingly rare, let alone defending them. However, this is not the case with the Houthi. This Iranian proxy operating in Yemen has consistently launched attacks against Israel. In July 2024, Israel even announced that the port of Eilat had officially gone bankrupt after eight months of non-operation due to the Red Sea blockade imposed by the Houthi. July was indeed a month when the Houthi received significant global attention. Not only did they cause the Israeli port to go bankrupt, but on July 19, 2024, the Houthi also managed to attack a civilian neighborhood in Tel Aviv, the capital of Israel. This attack resulted in the death of one person and left eight others injured. This incident was undoubtedly embarrassing for Israel, as their much vaunted air defense system, the Iron Dome, failed to intercept the attack, allowing the Houthi to breach the Israeli capital. The Houthi's ability to penetrate the Iron Dome and launch an attack on Tel Aviv demonstrates that the drones used by this group are sophisticated enough to evade an advanced air defense system. Today, let's delve deeper into the advanced drones employed by the Houthi. First, let's begin with the Yaffa drone. This is the drone the Houthi used in the July 19, 2024 attack we discussed earlier. The Yaffa drone is a new model recently revealed to the public, successfully shifting the perception that Israel is invulnerable to attacks originating from the Middle East. Historically, Israel only feared the capabilities of powers outside the Middle East, such as China and Russia. However, since the 19th of July, that notion has been dispelled due to the Yaffa drone's actions. The Yaffa drone was only recently showcased after the attack in Tel Aviv. While its exact specifications remain unknown, various data have been released to the public. For instance, in terms of functionality, the Houthi claim the Yaffa drone is a long-range multi-role drone. This is substantiated by its ability to cover a distance of over 2,000 kilometers from Yemen to penetrate Israeli airspace. The drone also carries high-explosive warheads as its main offensive capability. Additionally, it functions as a stealth drone. The stealth technology of this drone successfully evaded the Iron Dome. Israel's premier air defense system. Besides bypassing the Iron Dome, this drone also managed to avoid detection by several countries it flew over before reaching Israel. According to Yahya Sari, the Houthi spokesperson, the operation using the Yaffa drone last July was a success because it managed to make Israel feel threatened. On the other hand, Israel responded quickly to the attack. Shortly after Yoav Gallant, the Israeli defense minister announced that the Houthi attack would be retaliated against. A counterattack was launched. An oil refinery in Yemen exploded, resulting in several casualties. Once again, elite conflicts lead to the loss of civilian lives who only wished for peace. <laughs> Next, let's move on to the Kasef-1 drone. This drone is one of the longest used drones by the Houthis, having been in operation even long before the Israeli assault on Gaza in 2023. Acting as an Iranian proxy, the Kasef-1 was acquired by the Houthis through the evolution of the Ababel-2 drone. The Kasef-1 is categorized as a loitering munition, meaning it can fly in circles to find the most effective attack route. What makes this drone particularly interesting is its extremely low cost. It is claimed that the Kasef-1 can be manufactured for around 600 US dollars with the right techniques and spare parts. This low cost is in stark contrast to the quite impressive capabilities of the Kasef-1. 
The specifications of the CASF-1 drone are as follows. It has a maximum speed of 370 kilometers per hour, a maximum altitude of 3,000 meters, and a range of up to 120 kilometers. The Houthis have utilized these capabilities for various attacks in the Red Sea since the intensification of the conflict in Gaza. These attacks have caused significant losses to numerous companies trading with Israel, including Suzuki, Tesla, Shell, Adidas, and Ikea. Next, we have the Samad drone, which has already seen four generations of development since 2018. This drone shares similarities with the Kasef drone in that it is inexpensive to produce yet possesses formidable capabilities. It is known that the Samad drone can reach speeds of up to 250 kilometers per hour with a range of up to 1,500 kilometers. This drone can carry 18 kilograms of explosives. These specifications make it very suitable for swarm drone attacks, which involve deploying a large number of drones simultaneously. The swarm drone strategy has proven its effectiveness by even breaching Israel's Iron Dome defense system. Thus, there are significant advantages to operating military drones at a lower cost. In addition to using drones for operations in the Red Sea and against Israel, the Houthis also employ drones for other purposes, such as the civil war in Yemen. In 2020, this group utilized one of Iran's flagship drones, the Shahed-136. This drone is renowned for its impressive capabilities. It can reach speeds of up to 185 kilometers per hour, has a range of 2,500 kilometers, and can carry a warhead weighing up to 50 kilograms. One of the standout features of this drone is its navigation system, which uses both an inertial navigation system and a satellite-based navigation system to ensure high accuracy and reliability. Additionally, the launch system for this drone utilizes a truck-assisted launcher, enabling the Shahed-136 to be launched from various unpredictable locations. The drone's navigation capabilities also contribute to its stealthiness, making it difficult to detect by air defense radar systems. Given these advanced features, it is no surprise that the Shahed-136 is a favored drone of Iran, supplied to its various proxies, including the Houthis. In addition to utilizing air-based attack drones, the Houthis have also adopted sea-based attack drones. This development is clearly a response to the heightened tensions in the Red Sea, as the Houthis have consistently targeted vessels affiliated with Israel. From data gathered in May 2024, it is evident that the Houthis have obstructed the passage of 112 Israel-affiliated ships in the Red Sea. The latest sea drone deployed by the Houthis, named Tufan al-Mudamr, was unveiled on June 30, 2024. Regarding its specifications as revealed by the Houthis, the Tufan al-Mudamr is capable of carrying weaponry with warheads weighing between 1,000 and 1,500 kilograms. These warheads are believed to be high explosive types, suitable for targeting both cargo and military vessels. In addition to its armament, the drone is claimed to have integrated an advanced control system allowing it to be operated both automatically and manually from a remote distance. With a maximum speed reaching 45 nautical miles or 83 kilometers per hour, this drone presents a significant new threat to Israel-affiliated ships navigating the Red Sea. The threat of military drones used by the Houthis against Israel is undoubtedly a real and significant danger. The losses experienced by Israel and its ally, the United States, have even reached unforeseen levels. From Platform X, it is known that every time a Houthi drone is intercepted by Israel and its allies, the cost disparity is immense. 
the missiles used by Israel and its allies are approximately 2.1 million US dollars each, whereas the drones employed by the Houthis cost only about 2,000 US dollars. This means the cost ratio is about 1,000 times greater. When it comes to drones, the material losses suffered by the United States are also substantial. At the end of May 2024, it was reported that the Houthis had shot down the 5th American MQ-9 Reaper drone, causing a staggering loss of 150 million US dollars. These sophisticated drones currently used by the Houthis demonstrate that if the situation in the Middle East continues to escalate, it is evident that more of these advanced drones will keep emerging. Of course, increased escalation also means more casualties, often among civilians. Therefore, we can only hope that the conflict in the Middle East will quickly de-escalate so that civilians can sleep peacefully.